I went to find out just how much money we're shoveling to pay for clean roads. You could be left with a deadly fireball. Innovative tracking tools and maps help cops see where cars are coming and where they're going. Well, listen, David, I came to the State Fair hoping I could get two meals for under 1,500 calories. Rebecca Simmons has traded the sound of rumbling rock for crinkling paper as she packed up the last of her things. That may be all she takes with her because the insurance company won't cover the damage. I mean, I thought insurance was for, you know, catastrophes, and it's a catastrophe, but apparently, yep, it doesn't work that way anymore. The folds in the road have gotten even bigger, so the ground is still moving. That means it could get worse before insurance companies even make it out here. Don Dexter can't even get into his house to get his belongings after his house was moved off of its foundation. Now falling trees threaten even more damage. The insurance company has offered no help. We'll cover landslides, rock slides, uh, mudslides. You know, so I mean, well, you know, what the hell do you cover? You know, you, you can have a tree fall on your house and you're covered. But a mountain falls down and you're not. That actually pissed me off, but I guess uh, they were mentioned yesterday they declared this, you know, obviously a state of emergency. So I don't know what they're going to do. For people on State Route 410, that answer is painfully simple. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Maybe the windows and the food that was in the freezer. And with the entire area still unstable, more answers may not come for quite some time. So what do you do now? Well, I'll actually just wait and see, you know. What Dexter doesn't expect is to see any help from his insurance company. Shane Thompson was in for a shock when he came to work at Pro Concrete Monday morning. His cat backhoe gone, driven right out the front gate. I don't know that I could guard everything against um, theft, but it makes me think about uh, tracking it if it does get stolen. The problem is it only takes one key. Whether you rent or buy, the keys are literally identical. So I can take the key from one cat Put it in another one, turn it on, and drive it off the lot. If one key runs any backhoe, I'm sure there's a million people with the same key. Oh. So it's pretty, pretty easy to take. Just ask Tri Valley Construction. It lost a cat right off a construction site last week, but there's just not much more it can afford to do. Besides locks, do you guys have tracking equipment or any other security that you can? No, it's all expensive stuff. I mean, not everybody can afford that. And as hard as they are to protect, they're just as hard for cops to track down. I'm guessing they get shipped out, they end up on somebody's plot of land where we never see them again. I say it's, it's hard to identify them if they're out in somebody's field. But just what happens to these machines once they're stolen? What do you think they're doing with them? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I was told that they were being put in shipping containers and shipped elsewhere. But who knows? Whether there is some black cat market or people are simply looking to do some at-home demolition. Construction companies have been put on alert to protect themselves against these cat burglars. Well, listen, David, I came to the State Fair hoping I could get two meals for under 1,500 calories. Even if you can resist the funnel cakes, it's tough. Giving in to temptation, though, is what fairgoers told me makes the State Fair so special. Fairgoers bustle through the gates, and it doesn't take long before the sights, sounds, and smells of fair food hit. What's the best part of the fair? The food. Why? It's greasy and delicious. But what about a healthy option? I searched the grounds to find some diet-friendly food and found John Buchter's stand, one of only two places I found with lettuce that doesn't come on your cheeseburger. Why don't you think there are more healthy options at the fair? Uh, because most people won't buy them. That's what basically it is. And just about everyone I talked to was okay with that. They, they like to eat uh, uh, different than they eat at home. I mean, this is kind of a treat for them. In a place where potatoes become all sorts of salty snacks and even apples become candy, there are no shortages of treats, just as long as you're more concerned with filling your stomach than filling the food pyramid. I don't eat before I come here. Now you can make the calorie count with things like salmon and hummus, but most people, they're gonna take things like deep fried Oreos. So will I. Live from the State Fair, Peter Bukowski, Action News.